know, the, the, you know, the opportunity that, that San Angelo Live has presented not only to myself and my family, but also to all the people that work here is incredible. I've been in and out of newsrooms for 25 years and I missed it. I really wanted to be back in a real newsroom where we did real journalism and real news. Our job here is to dominate the news coverage in San Angelo and the Concho Valley. And we're the best to do it. We're the number one leader in news here in San Angelo. The atmosphere of this newsroom and, and being part of this team is what I really wanted to do because it's, it's just amazing. I had heard so many things about San Angelo Live. I never really knew the people that were in here or the way that things worked. It was always like this secret thing and to be able to see it come to life and see that opportunity that businesses have working with San Angelo Live, me being in what I do at San Angelo Live and being able to be at these events and promote people coming into town and show San Angelo how excited these people are to be here and broadcast that onto a platform that San Angelo Live has, has been crazy. Like I didn't realize how big they were and why I heard so much about it is because everyone reads them. The working environment in San Angelo Live is very fun. I like to hang out here after school, even help my dad out a little bit. Um, it's really cool to watch my dad's business grow over the years and I'm really proud of him. <laughs> we realized that people were inquisitive about what was going on in their neighborhoods, especially whenever the, there was police action. No one ever knew what was happening. They would always ask and wonder, but no one ever reported on it. So we, we had stumbled across a, a scene which we did report on, and it turned out to be one of uh, the, one, the one story that started it all. And one of the things about local news that you have to do is you have to speak to the entire community. Uh, you can't be one, a part of one a little clique uh, or another. Um, and that requires, you know, allowing other people to come work with you who you probably wouldn't like even have dinner with sometimes I mean, until you get to know them. Um, you know, the diversity of, of our team here is incredible. I mean, it, we, you know, we, don't, we have someone from every part of town here. And the reason is, is because if we're gonna be reporting about this, this city, we need to be the city. One of the first stories I did was Karen Trucking and their expansion uh, into San Angelo, uh, and, and that's economic development. Um, we're, we love San Angelo, and, and I love to see it grow. We do stories about businesses opening uh, and hiring people, and uh, that's, that's one of the, the good news things that we get to do, to do is cover San Angelo businesses and, and the expansion of, of, of the economy. I absolutely love it here in San Angelo and you know my time playing football my time in sports really helped me become a better leader so that I could come here and help grow the sports department that we have now and we've quickly turned into the leader when it comes to sports coverage here in San Angelo and the only way we're going is up. There's no way we're going down. I am a communication major and I knew that working with uh, San Angelo Live would be a great opportunity because it's one of the most, it's one of the greatest news outlets here in town and or it, the best news outlet here in town and um, I'm a good writer. <laughs> <laughs> one of the really neat things about San Angelo Live isn't just that they're on the cusp of internationally how media is changing the way it communicates with people um, but they've also really changed the way media covers everything in San Angelo and you know you watch all of the other media companies or we do because you know it's important to us since the industry we're in and everybody's chasing us and following us on how to cover the news and what news to cover and because everybody's chasing San Angelo Live developmentally and then you know as far as what content to put on we've got a bigger audience than anybody else has got by almost double of anybody else. Sam Fowler he's, he's awesome with his sports writing and sports broadcasting he's great with his interviews he's super fun to work with super exciting to be around he really pumps up the room um, Zoe she has her own pumped up capability she walks in a room and she controls it whether she likes it or not. Um, Yantis is yeah, just is a freaking cool cat. <laughs> you just got a Mustang out there that he got out of a vending machine. <laughs> Technically, once we started, everybody started covering it. All the accident, everything that wasn't being covered, 
back then mm -hmm. that we started covering, everybody started to cover again. As one of the officers joked around with me, uh, once we got on the scene, we changed the way media handled everything. And you know, Brandy Petty, she's intelligent beyond words. Like she's a very smart woman and she knows what she does. And John Vasquez, oh my, he is the master of all things that happen in San Angelo, I swear. Almost, almost a little better than you, Joe Hyde. One of the things you have to do, like, you know, people, when you, when you report breaking news, it doesn't matter who you are, whether you're ABC 13 in Houston or you're San Angelo Live, it doesn't matter. Reporting breaking news, a lot of times you have incomplete information, but you still, you know, if there's five cars, five police cars down at the end of your street, you want to know why they're there. So they want to know right now why those cops are there. And we'll report that. But then the other thing is the more interesting stories, we're able to follow them into the court system. And we actually, we've, we've done um, tremendous work reporting our local courts. I mean, there's cases that no one would ever heard of had we not been there reporting. And I'll give you a story. We were, I was uh, reporting a story about the guy who shot up Desiree's with a 45 revolver. He was accused of that. And no one was in the courtroom the first day. I get up my first story, next thing you know, the whole courtroom is full of media people the next day. So we have put the shine of the spotlight into places in San Angelo where the spotlight needed to be shined.